When our parents were still very young, plastic became very popular. And it still is. Plastic is strong and light. And because it's so cheap, you can just throw it away. But hey, problem is, there is no away. Plastic doesn't break down, it only breaks up into small pieces. Almost every piece of plastic ever made is still on the planet. Most plastic waste comes from product packaging and single-use plastics. But also toothpaste and cosmetics contain microplastics. Every year, 8 million tonnes of plastic end up in the oceans. Plastic has become like a dangerous disease. These nurdles washed ashore on Hong Kong's beaches after a cargo container tipped during a typhoon. Plastic pieces look exactly like small eggs. No wonder sea animals eat them. This whale swallowed plastic. It's dying. This sheer water is dying. Look at what it has got in its stomach. Scientists think 90% of all seabirds have swallowed plastic. Many fish have swallowed plastic. We eat fish, so the harmful chemicals from the plastic can enter our bodies too. What can we do to put a stop to this ocean of plastic? What can you do to stop marine animals from dying from a plastic addiction? The first thing to do is to start using less plastic, because if we use less, plastic producers will make less. Do we really need to buy apples in a plastic bag? Do you really need that plastic straw with your soft drink? Secondly, plastic can be recycled. It's all about creating a circular economy. Plastic is processed and newborn nurdles are turned into new plastic products. The point is, plastic is indestructible, so it should not be disposable. Things like these can make the difference between helping the planet or hurting the planet. The ocean isn't ours alone. It's the home of many other species and our plastic pollution is hurting them. Sorry, seabirds. Sorry, sea turtles and all marine animals for putting plastic into your home. Now that you know the problem, you can help make a difference. Change is possible. It starts with us.